Hello and uh, welcome to today's discussion on uh, listing of ships. Uh, my name is uh, Pramod. I am uh, a faculty in Naval Architecture. Uh, listing is a phenomenon in which a ship inclines about its central line. Now it can happen uh, because of many reasons. Uh, but you have to primarily understand that we say a ship is in list when it has a, a permanent inclination either to the port or starboard side and uh, so the fundamental thing is it is a permanent inclination so list is a permanent inclination whereas if you take uh, healing healing to the port or starboard that is a temporary inclination of the vessel about the central line. Now, uh, we also need to understand that list happens mainly due to internal reasons on board the vessel, like some movement of mass or uh, pumping of some fluids uh, like ballast water, oil, etc. When there is an imbalance in this, that will lead to a list. Uh, and uh, uh, healing mainly happens because of uh, external reasons uh, like waves or winds or uh, something like that. Ships can also list uh, or heave when you operate a crane, when you lift a mass during unloading, loading, etc. So, anyways, uh, from these two photographs here, you can see two ships in list. Uh, one thing which is very clear to you is uh, uh, to carry out operations on board a vessel, to live on a vessel in list will be really troublesome. So it is highly desirous that for any seafarer on board a vessel in list, you need to remove the list as soon as possible. Uh, beyond a certain list, you cannot move on board the vessel. Even uh, your basic uh, survival on the ship becomes very tough. You will not be able to access uh, many places on ships. It will be very tough. Even there are some missionaries which may not function beyond a certain point of, of list of the vessel. So this is very clear that list brings about a lot of uh, troubles to you. And we need to remove this list as soon as possible. Today we will be discussing uh, the theory aspect of how list is developed or how list can be corrected and we will also look into some uh, numericals which will help you in uh, the theory whatever we are going to learn. So we will start today's discussion with what is called a list triangle. Uh, if you consider a vessel. Uh, as we know, the geometric center of mass is the center of gravity and the geometric center of uh, the buoyancy force is the uh, center of buoyancy. So, if there is a shifting of mass on board a vessel, then that will lead the vessel to list, as you can see. And this list will cause a shift in center of gravity. Now, because there is a movement of mass on board, this will lead to a shift in center of gravity. So this shift in center of gravity as we have discussed in previous videos can be calculated by this formula GGH where GH is the new point uh, of center of gravity is small w into d by capital W where small d uh, w is the weight which is shifted d is the distance by which it has shifted and capital W is your ship's mass displacement. So with this formula, we can find out the shift in center of gravity of the vessel when, when the mass, when some mass on board the ship is moved in the transverse direction. Now, from this data, using a triangle that is G G H M, where M is your meta center, we can find out what is the angle of list using trigonometry uh, where theta. This angle here is your angle of list. So theta we can find out by this formula. Tan theta is 
GGH by GM. This will be the formula, and uh, this formula is applied for small angle stability. Uh, if you already know, small angle stability is where meta center is uh, assumed to be a fixed point, so somewhere between zero to nine degree angle of heat. That is the region of small angle stability. So that is where this formula is going to be used. Now let us uh, just discuss a numerical which will help you understand this idea. A ship initially upright displaces 12,000 tons and has center of gravity 6.7 meters and meta center 7.3 meters. A weight of 60 tons already on board is shifted 14 meters horizontally across the deck. Calculate the resulting angle of rest. So, uh, very simple question and the solution also is uh, very simple. Uh, the Km is given 7.3, Kg is given as 6.7. So, your Gm becomes 0.6 meters and GGH, we apply the formula which we have discussed is small w into d by capital W. So, it is already said that 60 tons are shifted 14 meters. So, 16 into 14 by 12,000. So, GGH becomes 0 0.07 meters. Apply this directly in your uh, uh, list triangle formula, you will get tan theta uh, as uh, 0.11667 and theta as 6.7 degrees. So, this is your angle of list. A simple question. Now, another question a vessel of 6500 tons displacement has uh, M 7.2 meter, G 6.8 meter. A weight of 100 tons is shifted 2.3 meters to 4 and then 3.9 meters upwards. If the vessel is initially upright, calculate the resulting rest. So this is a very uh, common scenario on ships. You are trying to move some mass and that will definitely lead to a list. Uh, so if you know that, if you know that uh, beforehand, you can calculate uh, what will be the list and we can take some remedial action. Now this may happen. Like when you are moving uh, a weight mass or suppose you are adding a container or removing a container, it can lead to a list. And uh, the methodology used to solve this question, we can use to find out that list and take some corrective action. Again, uh, if you uh, take the uh, formula, uh, the GG1 is W into D by W. So let us apply this formula um, in the vertical and horizontal movement directions separately. So if I take only the vertical shift, vertical shift, uh, we have a mass which is 100 tons move 2. Point, uh, uh, sorry, 3.9 meters in the vertical direction upwards. So GG1 is 100 into 3.9 by uh, the displacement is given as 6500.06 meters rise. Uh, the kg is 6.8 uh, and uh, the shifting in uh, center of uh, uh, gravity, so the new key G1 is 6.86. We have added these two values. Now Km is uh, 7.2 meters. So your uh, G1M will be 0.34 meters. This will be your new GM. Uh, after the vessel, uh, the mass has shifted uh, upwards on the vessel, the new GM, that is G1M is 0.34 meters. Now if I take the horizontal shift, your GG1, that is uh, again, please don't confuse, this is the horizontal component, 2.3 meters horizontal, uh, so weight 100 into 2.3 by 6500, will get 0 0.3, uh, 0, 0.0354 meters, so tan theta is nothing but GG1 by G1M or uh, GM, so I substitute these values and I get the final answer is 5.94 degree. Uh, and because the mass has shifted to the port, so that is something which we need to apply. The angle of list is towards port side. So this is how we solve uh, uh, this question. So with the discussion of these two questions, I hope you have understood how this formula for list is uh, calculated, is applied for very simple cases on board ships. I hope this video has helped you. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, please feel free to email me. Uh, promote.imu at gmail.com. Uh, thank you.